The Indian Navy has commissioned the first Project 15B destroyer INSV Sarkopatnam today, that has been designed indigenously and built with 75% level of indigenization. It measures 163 meters in length and 17 meters in breadth, and has a displacement of 7,400 tons, and can rightfully be regarded as one of the most potent warships to have been constructed in India. The destroyer is propelled by four powerful gas turbines, and has enhanced stealth features, and is equipped with modern surveillance radar, as well as sophisticated state-of-the-art weapons and sensors. The gas turbine research establishment will send the Cavalry dry engine to Russia's Gromov Flight Research Institute in January 2022, where it will be tested on an IL-76 flying lab aircraft. The 47 kN thrust class dry cavalry engine will be equipped with a fluidic thrust vectoring exhaust nozzle, and it is expected to get its initial flight release certification in 2024, and will power the Aura Autonomous Stealth Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle. The gas turbine research establishment is working with French firm Dassault Systems, which is helping in 3D design modeling and engineering. The gas turbine research establishment will be partnering with Hindustan Aeronautics Engine Division at Karaput, for the manufacturing of the dry cavalry engine. The Midani Group will supply specialized alloys such as steel titanium and nickel for making their main body parts and the engine, while the RDO's Defense Metallurgical Research Laboratory will provide the high-pressure compressor discs made out of the titanium alloy, and will save millions of rupees in foreign exchange. Israeli firm Melpa Systems have briefed the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy on its recently launched Scorpius Next Generation Electronic Warfare System, which is the world's first EW system that is capable of simultaneously targeting multiple threats across different frequencies and in different directions. The ground-based Scorpius G can defend against missiles and drones, and can effectively disrupt radar and electronic sensors navigation and data communications. The Scorpius and naval variant can defend ships against over-the-horizon anti-ship cruise missiles, unmanned combat aerial vehicles and the airborne imaging radars at extended range through early detection and targeting. The 7th FOC Standard Tejas Mark I aircraft SP-27 has conducted its first flight, and officials have said that Hindustan Aeronautics plans to deliver at least three more FOC Tejas aircraft by March 2022, and six more FOC aircraft will be handed over to the Indian Air Force by the second quarter of 2022. We have already reported that a FOC Tejas Mark I aircraft will be used as the first flying test bed for Tejas Mark I-A, and it was supposed to conduct its first flight by March 2022, but it might now be revised to June 2022, and a second test bed aircraft will also be added to complete certification process by mid-2023. Ahead of his visit to New Delhi early next month, the Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that Russia intends to build up a truly multifaceted bilateral cooperation with India. Several minor changes have been worked out in the intergovernmental agreement for the local production of 6,1427 AK-203 rifles with transfer of technology, and a special defense acquisition council meeting will be held on 23rd November that will officially clear the 5,124 crore rupees project. The first 70,000 rifles will include Russian-made components, that will be delivered to the Indian Army 32 months after the commencement of production process, while the remaining rifles will come with indigenously sourced components. Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the material procurement for the 15 Limited Series Light Combat Helicopters is completed, and three helicopters are ready for delivery to the armed forces, and the remaining helicopters are in advanced stages of production. Hal Chief has said that the company is looking at production of 30 light combat helicopters per year, and the platform is being continuously upgraded with improved electronics warfare suite, 
Directional Infrared Countermeasure System, Air-to-Ground Missile, Data Link, Anti-Radiation Missile, New Weapons, NBC Protection as well as Wire Cutter.